Hey guys, today I'm showing off Elemental Shields. <sighs> huh? Okay. <gasps> Aha! Okay. I'm poisoned. I am immune. I'm safe in the witch apocalypse. Haha. <laughs> All right, guys, so as you have seen, I have created two elemental shields in vanilla Minecraft. This is based off of the idea of a video about a, a month and a half ago, I'd say, where I made a shield in vanilla Minecraft. This has taken it one step further. These are elemental shields. This is essentially to show off some examples of things that you can do with the shield that I made. And so if you have not watched that video already, I highly recommend it. I'll put something on the screen right now. Go watch it. But these two, I have the Combustion Shield and the Adulteration Shield. Arguably as epic as it sounds. So, the Combustion Shield, pretty simple. Uh, it has the same plus three knockback resistance, which is slightly lowered than the actual one. Uh, plus two attack damage and minus 20% speed when you hold it. Uh, but let's go check out the uh, Combustion Shield as an example. I believe it is, yes the first one. So, essentially, it is doing the same thing as before. It's testing for a player with a set dummy objective scoreboard who is holding in their first slot, which is slot zero. It's weird, zero to eight instead of one to nine. Uh, if they're holding the record blocks and it's they are selecting it and it is in their inventory in the first slot, it'll output to the comparator. The comparator is outputting into a few different things. It is giving us the fire resistance to effect, which makes us immune to fire. It is also setting the command block uh, here, which the command is the slash particle command. So it is giving the flame co uh, particles that are surrounding us completely as we fly away from them. and the. The effect also gives the swirly particle effect, so it kind of is a dual thing, and it looks really, really cool. If you want to look at the particle uh, parameters, it's just right here. And as a third thing, it is playing an Iron Golem walk sound, which I have cut out of this video for uh, technical purposes. It is then, uh, once you unselect it, it will repower that torch, which will then clear the command blocks that are giving you the particle effects and the fire resistance effect and it'll also just clear f the effects uh, all around. So that's pretty much how the basis of these work. That's kind of the basic template you want to use if you want to make your own. Um, but as an example the adulteration shield is a little bit different. So if we uh, hop on into game mode zero really quickly uh, you can see that when I hover over it, I've got the poison effect looking thing. I even have poison too, but it's not giving me damage. And so I get like the particle effects, my health bar looks poisoned, which is kind of a cool effect I was trying to go for. I even have the poison effect, but it's constant and I'm not taking damage. How did I do that? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm literally giving you a poison effect and then immediately taking it away. I'm giving you poison one, which, because if you constantly give someone poison one, it's fast enough where it thinks you, it combines the effects and turns it to poison two. So this covers uh, poison one potions. It's technical things. Uh, but basically this one is uh, just testing for certain slots. Uh, it will play the Iron Golem mock sound. It will give you the poison effect and it will clear the effect basically at the same time. So, pretty cool. It makes a cool a visual effect, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And then these are all uh, clearing the effects and getting rid of any command blocks that are placed down.
such as right there. So that's pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty easy to do once you have the whole system set up. Uh, the break thing, if you want to actually make it so that these shields do have durability as well, uh, you have to do a little bit of changing around with like what you're clearing at the end part, but like which record you're doing. But other than that, it should work for the same system and you can add on to whatever kind of elemental shields you want. So very cool. So as a note, if you want to be able to use multiple shields, you have to hook up two systems, one for every shield. Uh, that's just something that you're going to have to do on your own because I can't hook them all up for every possible thing that you could come up with. That doesn't make sense. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.